What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a pretty meta team. We got Groudon, Venusaur, all that good stuff. But on the team, we have one cool off-meta Pokemon. We're rocking out with Slow, bro. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, click off this video. I do not want you. I'm just kidding. I love you anyway. But consider subscribing to the channel. It really does go a long way. So I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. They really do help me grow as a content creator. So again, thank you guys so much. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Rocking out with Groudon in that top left corner. Lovely restricted mod. Definitely one of the better ones in this series considering it has weather control and it is a great defensive bulk and a great physical attacker. We got Drought, Citrus Berry as item and ability. And then we got Prince Place Blades, Swords Dance set up, Rock Tomb, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be Groudon's best friend. We got Venusaur over here. Doubles its speed in that Drought with the Chlorophyll ability. And then it's Rock and Focus Sash as its item. Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Weather Ball, and Helping Hand. I do like this moveset, but I always like to rock uh, at least Protect on Venusaur. I just feel like it comes up clutch because, you know, Venusaur is definitely a Pokemon that uh, that opponents prioritize to try taking out. So Protect is definitely a really good move for Venusaur. But uh, we'll take Helping Hand. We'll, we'll allow allied Pokemon to do a bit more damage. Middle left is Incineroar over here with Intimidate and Shukaberry. Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, and Burn Jealousy. Fairly normal moveset for any Incineroar. Just works so well, so why would you change it? Fourth Pokemon on squad is our second Restricted Mon. Probably one of my favorite Restricted Mons for this series. We got Yvelta over here. Dark Aurora alongside with the Soul Fest, Snarl, Oblivion Wing, Foul Play, and Sucker Punch for my absolute favorite moveset for Yvelta. I just think it works so well. You got the special attack drops with Snarl. You got Oblivion Wing for stab damage and HP recovery. Foul Play does big damage on physical attackers like Solgaleo and uh, Zacian. And then you also have that Sucker Punch for that lovely first turn priority. And it will allow you to outspeed Chatter Rider Calyrex. So really, really good. I absolutely love it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Slowbro over here. Slowbro is. It, it, it's Slowbro. <laughs> There's really nothing to say about Slowbro. It's not like a phenomenal Pokemon where it just dominates the meta, but it's definitely going to be a fun Pokemon to use. It's got the Oblivious ability alongside with the Wakan Berry, but then it has Body Press, Iron Defense, Slack Off, and Trick Room. So if you're in a situation where it's just a bunch of physical attackers and you can set up Iron Defense, Slack, or not Slacking, uh, Slowbro can definitely clutch it up for you because you can make him super bulky, Body Press to do big damage because it'll be based off your defense, and then Slack Off just to get that HP recovery back. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Regilecki. Life Orb Regilecki with the Transistor will probably Dynamax him a good bit because, you know, it's Life Orb Regilecki and he can do a massive amount of damage. We got E-Web for Speed Control, Thunderbolt for Stab, Bolt Switch Pivot Out, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, but the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, try to get some wins with this Slowbro Series 12 team. Okay, I see our opponent rocking a Gardevoir team for battle number one. He also has Solgaleo and Yvelta for his two restricted mods. And he's got Indeedee, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. So not a bad team here. Hopefully we get started off on a strong note, grab you guys a win, and uh, roll out from there. But who should I lead? How should I go into this one? I feel like the weather squad is not too bad with Ground on Venusaur. Because he can't really change it, right? Intimidate could do me a little dirty because he might lead that Incineroar. But at that point, I could just Dynamax Venusaur. But, again, at that point, it's just like Venusaur has no... Oh, he does have Weather Ball. Weather Ball is decent, but my problem is I really wanted a ground move with him. Ground move could have definitely ripped up with him. But I could go ground on Venusaur. That would not be too shabby. That would not be too shabby. I'm kind of leaning towards it. So I'm going to roll into it. Ground on Venusaur as lead. I think we bring... Ooh, or I can lead Regilecki. No, 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 no. We're chilling with this. We're chilling with this. Ground on Venusaur. You it in the back end, and then either Regilecki or Incineroar for our final mod. And I'm kind of leaning towards Regilecki. Hmm. Do I go Regilecki or do I go Incineroar? Incineroar's not too bad. With the Intimidate drops and the fake outs, I'm going to go Incineroar for this call. Incineroar, come on down here. Or do... No, no, we're going Incineroar. I was going to say. I was going to say. Or do we want that Regilecki? Because I'm telling you, that Regilecki is an absolute menace to society. He's a menace to society. But, yo, before we hop into battle number one, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. Do you guys think they should add a gimmick like Dynamax or Mega Evolutions to Gen 9? Not, I'm not saying, like, do you think they should add Dynamax or Mega Evolutions? You guys know that, like, in every single Pokemon gen, they add some sort of gimmick. Like, Z-Moves, Mega Evolutions, Dynamax. Do you guys think they should add a new one? Or just let it be. Let the, let the competitive scene have no gimmick and just, uh... Just normal play. Just normal play. Let me know in the comment section down below. He's going to end up leading the Incineroar alongside the Gardevoir, which I'm kind of annoyed with. I do not like that. Not one bit. So she's going to Drought, then I'm going to Drought. Does that cancel out Drought? Can you imagine? That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. But no, he's going to Intimidate me, which is a little rough considering uh my Groudon is physical attacking, which I do not like. It's no bueno. But Drought's out and about. We could drop a nice little Rock Tomb. We could go for Blades. But I might just throw a Blades. Oh, I might Swords Dance here. 
So we're saying it's Dynamax. And just Vine Lash this thing. Kind of with this all day. He might party, party shot me, but still, if he does, I'm sword dancing with this, uh, with this ground on. Yeah, so now he posts two threats right here, and he doesn't really have, like, too many Pokemon to really rip up into me. I mean, he has that V or that Instant Orb, but I don't see it going for a Flare Blitz, you know? Especially with Groudon on the field. Especially with Groudon on the field. I really don't don't see it happen. But we're going to Dynamax this Venusaur. We're going to pop a nice little G-Max Fine Lash to get ripping with that. And see what he wants to go from here. He's going to go for a Fake Out on me. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We go for a Fake Out there. We're going to do some big old damage onto this uh, Gardevoir right here. And more importantly, set up the Vine Lash damage. Get chipping away. And then we get off this Sword Dance, which is huge. Sword Dance is huge. And Groudon shows that he outspeeds both the Incineroar and Guard. That's enormous. That is enormous. So we went from minus one to plus one now, which is amazing. And his Gardevoir is going to pop a Trick. Okay, so Trick him out and about. Um, I mean, that's okay. Not too bad. Vine Lash is going to start chipping, which does, what is it, like one six HP or one eighth? That's such a good amount of damage. Look at, that. Look at that. Look at that. The damage is huge. The damage is huge. But uh, from here, yeah, Blades all day. We'll drop a Blades, and I might just guard it. Or I can Max Strike. I'm going to Max Strike. I'm going to Blades and Max Strike here. That is my play all day. This is my lovely little play. So, we're off to a strong start, but Trick Room could definitely come back to bite me. Trick Room, Trick Room could definitely come back to bite me. He's going to end up going for a parting shot. I'm kind of fine with that. He's going to bring me back to even. Crystal Price Blades should be able to take out Cardboard, no problem. And we should be able to get off a decent amount of damage here. This is going to turn into a flare, this Max Strike. So hopefully, hopefully goes to somebody who does not fare too well to a, to a flare. Hopefully goes to somebody who does not do too well up against a flare. Show it to me. Who, you go, who are you going into? Yvelta, maybe? Oh, it's Rillaboom. Even better. Even better. <laughs> even better. We love it. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Yo, Grassy Shirt is coming out here. Gardevoir's gonna go next. What's Gardevoir gonna rock out into? Oh no, Ground's gonna go next. So we're gonna drop a nice little blade. Can I take out Gardevoir? It does. Beautiful. So Gardevoir's dead. We got a flare ready to roll now. We got a flare coming in hot. And we should say bye bye to Venus, right? Get him on out of here. See you later, alligator. Get him going. <laughs> that's a huge, that's a great swap for us. So now he's gonna have to be forced to bring back out Incineroar. Get Intimidate. So my Groudon's gonna be back to minus one, which is kind of annoying. But still, Groudon's doing some work. And he's going to show his last Pokemon, who he's probably going to die in next. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm definitely cool with it. Let's see. So, your belt is going to come out here, and he's definitely going to die in next. We do have Vine Lash chipping away. And from here, do I just drop a Blades? Or do I Swords Dance here? I mean, we might just... I mean, uh, your belt might be slowest. Yvelta might be the slowest on the field. Considering it's in Trick Room. Kind of digging it. I think I might just double down. Actually, he's going to fake me out. I think we see that all day. I mean, I'll go for a Swords Dance. If he wants to fake me out, he can fake me out. But, uh... Might as well just, uh, send some damage on this slot, right? Might as well send some damage on this slot. We do have the Vine Lash chipping up for, like, two more turns. Might as well get some damage on Evelta and kind of go from there. Okay. I mean, once Trick Room and Evelta is going to be probably fastest, but I don't... I don't think I should be really worried about it. Incineroar is kind of annoying, but he's only going to be annoying for right now. Because then he can't hard swap out and get, get off another Intimidate. So, Dynamax is going to roll out, roll out from him. He's going to pull out Yvelt. Yvelt going to get Dynamax. And this is where I wish that I had my what's it going on. This is where I wish I had my uh, Regilek. Regilek could come and clutch in the back end for this. So, he brings out his Yvelt. So I have a Yvelt in the back end as well. But the problem is he has Dynamax set up. He has a lovely little Dynamax. And Burning Jealousy is going to come out here. He's going to be able to soak pretty well. No burns. Hopefully no burns. Cool. No birds come out here, and we're setting up a lovely swords dance. So he did not fake me out, which is pretty cool, which is pretty tough. We love it. We love it. And what's he going to go for? He's going to go for Dark. He's going to Venusaur here. He's just going to ground on. You should be able to soak that. No. Dang, dude. We could have got off a solid turn. We could have got off a solid turn. Wow, that did some mean damage to me. Special defense is going to drop. Ground's going to bounce out here. And we're going to... Uh, who do I send out here next? He's going to drop to some life orb damage, and we're just going to flare chip up some damage. So... We got off some damage on him. I think Drought might end, which could be solid for us, especially in this turn. Actually, it's not going to end. We have, like, two more turns left. Maybe one. Maybe one more turn. But, yeah, Vine Lash is, is chipping away. Beautiful. Loving it. And he's also getting the Grassy Terrain HP back. Okay, so we're minus one on Special Defense. Your is going to be able to hit, like, a truck. I could go into Incineroar here and just waste out turns. Uh, I could Party Shot. Party Shot's not too bad, too. I'm going to actually bring out him and try to Party Shot. 
And I might just protect. I do not have protect on Venusaur. That's rough. That is rough. So I could obviously fake out his uh his Cinnamor if I wanted to, but I definitely want to go for a parting shot here. I definitely want a parting shot. Intimidate out and about. I'm gonna go for the parting shot. And Cinnamor should go first, which is great cool too. It's just lovely. So Cinnamor send a parting shot, and then we go for a. Weather ball? I guess we'll weather ball. I guess we'll weather ball. Actually, I should have went for a sleep powder. That's what I should have went for. But I, I, th I think I think we die here. I think he just takes a takes a like an air, a max air stream, right? I think that's what he does. If he was smart, he'd go for an air stream here. But I think he's going after Venus World then. We'll drop a lovely little party shot. We're gonna say, "Ayo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We're dipping. We're gonna drop a special attack and we dipping. We are dipping. We're gonna bring back out Yvelta, which is gonna be solid for us." And I think Yvelta is rocking that, uh, what's called as well. Yeah, that is Soul Fest. It's solid. That is solid for us. That's definitely solid for us. So we, got, we just gotta play the slow game here. I feel like if I intimidate again and get off some party shots and snarls, I feel like my my guys can kind of just clean up this mess right here. But that's that's kind of how we're playing. He's gonna throw chop into me. That's fine. My boy soaks that up all day. And then his Yvelta goes for Max Darkness into Venusaur, right? Yep, and Venusaur goes out. Okay, that's fine. So special defense drop. He has special attack drop. That's totally fine. I can bring back out Incineroar, and I can fake out easily. So his Dynamax turns are over. I'm going to fake out, and I think I'm just going to fake out Snarl, right? Fake out Snarl is probably our play, because I just got a slow play this one. I got the victory in the bag. In the bag. In the bag. In the bag. Because Incineroar is really not going to do too much with this next Intimidate out here. I'll fake out the Yvelta. I'll drop it again with Snarl, and we'll kind of roll out from there, because I have that Assault Vest as well, which is... Mwah. Assault Vest is gorgeous. This is why I love this Yvelta set. It's nice and bulky up against special attackers. You can just Snarl out. You can do a lot of different stuff. So I bring out my Incineroar, who's shiny, I should say. He doesn't have a shiny Incineroar, so we're, we're, we're already winning in that category. <laughs> we're already w winning in that category, and Intimidate's going to fly. Oh, wait, Dynamax isn't over? It's a little whack. Oh, I'm throat chopped. Are you kidding me? I'm throat chopped. That's a little whack. Uh, I guess I'll go. Do I double down on that? You know, we'll double down on you. I could party shot. Actually, I'm going to party shot again. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep dropping this thing special. Special attack. He's going to guard. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Parting shot comes in here. He blocks it. I think he's just wasting out trick room turns. Kind of going from there. Throw chop me. This dude throw chop me. He's going to parting shot into my Yvelta. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you do that? How dare you do that? Oblivion Wing coming in hot. I was thinking the same thing. And he probably has a berry too. To be honest. Probably has a berry too. Dang, should have faked him out. So did the fake out. Harsh sunlight fades off, and I think tr is Trick Room done yet? No, Trick Room might have one more turn. It actually works a little better for us. I'm just gonna party shot into his uh his Juvelta. I could sucker punch. I could drop some sucker punches. I could definitely drop some sucker punches. Or Foul Play would might do a little bit more damage. I don't know. Living wing. Run it. And sh sh the parting shot, or do I just start ripping up on this Juvelta? We might start going after Juvelta here. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start going after Shivelta. Might party shot me, but still. I'm gonna get after Shivelta here. Flare Blitz, run it. Let's start tackling down this Pokemon right here. Shivelta's gonna drop a nice, lovely Oblivion Wing. Oh, uh, chip up a little bit of damage on that thing. And Flare Blitz might be able to get the job done. It's gonna be kind of close. We're back to full HP. We're back to full HP, and this thing's gonna drop an Oblivion Wing of its own. Probably going after my Yvelta because it is minus one. Now he goes after Incineroar. Wow, that actually did, actually did a good amount. She did a little bit more than I thought it would. A little bit more than I thought it would. Wow, that HP recovery is ridiculous. It's orbed too. It's orbed. He's going to party shot again. Okay, I see you, dude. I I, I, under, I understand what you're doing. Special attack drop. Whatever's coming in hot. We got to get rid of this Yvelta. We're going to do this. Bill chipping up some mean damage. That's some mean damage. And is Trickham gone? That could, that could do me dirty if Trickroom's gone. I mean, I could Sucker Punch and look for the KO, but I don't think I could pick it up. I don't think I could pick it up. So, Grass is gone. Do we have any... Is, has Trickroom been gone? Hold up. Yeah, Trickroom's been gone. All right, so I'm just going to Oblivion Wing again. Oblivion Wing, I think, should be able to take that out. But I might double down just in case. Actually, I'm Burning Jealousy just in case. Yeah, run it. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. He might party shot into me again. He's going to end up protecting you, Belton. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. I'm with that all day. Oblivion Wing's gonna get blocked. I think we just do same thing next turn, right? 
Punch shot coming in here, dude. This guy's just like punch shot master right here. <laughs> this guy's just running it. Punch shot, punch shot, punch shot, punch shot. <laughs> Burn jealousy's gonna come out here. He's gonna get blocked. I think Incineroar has a berry. Yo, this is a long match. It's a long match. It's a long match going on here. Okay. Uh, from here, let's run run the same thing, right? I mean, no reason not to run the same thing. Do this. I'm trying to get after this way. I wish I did have like Darkest Slayer over here. We do have that Yvelta rather low, which is huge. I should have Fire Blitz into it. I should have Fire Blitz into it. That one's on me. Because if this uh, Oblivion Wing does not take it out, we're sitting in a tough spot. But we're hoping. Go ahead, Oblivion Wing. Do him dirty. Come on! No! No! Go for my Yvelta, please. Oh my god. This battle, man. He's going to take me out and win this one. If he takes out my Incineroar here, he wins it. Actually, no, he wins it regardless, right? It's too close. He's going, oh my god, leave me alone. Might have to go foul. Foul play might be my play. I'm going to go for a foul play in that thing. Right, because foul play is based on his attack. Burn Jealousy coming in hot. Can that take out the Yvelts? He burned. Just get, help me out here. Um, Foul play might be our play. Foul play into you. <laughs> And then I might just have to parting shot into, into this Incineroar. Drop that thing's attack. God dang, yo. <laughs> this battle. This battle. He's going to end up protecting. That's totally fine. Oh my lord, this battle. Going down to the wire. And he's coming down to the wire. And he's going to party shot again. Leave me alone, dude. He's actually going into my Incineroar here. It's fine. I'm party shotting into your Incineroar. <laughs> Gonna roll out like that. That play is definitely your best option. It's based on their attack, so it will do it will do more than anything else. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna have a parting shot again. This, this battle is legit. Just go in the distance. This is such a long battle. This is such a long battle, but we're gonna fight for it. We're fighting for this win. I want it. I want it. I actually came a lot closer than I thought. I thought we were sitting in a, a much better position. But I probably should have foul played last turn. He goes for a sucker punch. That's totally fine. It's going to fail. Foul play is going to bounce out here. Yeah, I'll finish off you. Get him on out of here. Thank the Lord. We got rid of that, dude. We got rid of him. Cool. We got rid of him, and he's going to end up going for a burning jealousy. Incineroar should be able to eat that up. Beautiful. And we're just going to party shot again. Yeah, you want to play games with me? You want to play the party shot games? This how this guy wants to play? We'll play it all day. We'll play it all day, but that's pretty much GG's. We just kind of, it's just going to be a, a, a long, a long drawn out battle at this point. You know, we're just going to keep foul playing. He probably has a berry if I had to guess. And I'm just going to keep going for burning jealousies because I do not want to uh, kill myself due to uh, recoil damage. But there it is. Battle was canceled. Let's go. One and zero. First battle was long and drawn out, but your boy ended up picking up that win. We're sitting one and zero. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and you felt the team with Lando. Whimsicott, Regilecki, and Urshfu. I definitely have to bring my Yvelta of my own just for the fact that we post that threat onto that Shadow Rider Calyrex. So I'm going to go, uh, I might go Regilecki and Yvelta as a nice little lead here. It'd be solid because we could take a little bit of speed control. I could go slow bro here as well to pop a trick room, but I just don't, I just don't see that necessary, you know? I mean, we could actually, because he's going to take a lot of speed. He is a rather fast team. So, you know, let's, let's, let's get a little bit of slow bro action here. Slow bro might be able to pop a trick room. We might be able to get one with that and get thriving with that. And maybe we could just Dynamax Venusaur after the trick room. Could be solid. Could definitely be solid. But who do I think he's going to lead? Alex could definitely be a lead, which is a problem. Hmm. I'm going to go Yvelta. Yvelta, bring... Actually, I could lead Groudon, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Groudon, Slowbro. Get Slowbro some love in Yvelta, and then in the back end. I think we're going to go Regilecki for Licky. Or do I go in Sinor? Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do there? What does Jeans want to do there? What do I want to do? Venusaur or Reggie? I feel like Reggie later in the match could definitely be good, but we just have to watch out for that lane, though. Definitely have to watch out for that lander. But I think he's going to go Whimscott, maybe pop a Tailwind, so I might be able to counteract it with a nice little Trick Room and kind of get rolling from there. Kind of get rolling from there. Really depends who he leads here. Couldn't lead Regilecki. I would love to see, like, in a Whimscott lead, because then at that point, you know, I'm just pop a Sword Stance, because that could be huge. He might end up going Shadow Rider Calyx, which I'm a little scared for. He's going to end up going Urshfu, uh, Urshfu and Lando. Okay. So when Timmy's gonna come out here, it's gonna affect me a little bit. And I could protect and pop a trick room, or I could iron defense set up. But then he does have crits with that god dang Urshfu, man. Rough news. Drought's out and about. Okay. So we have the drought, chilling here. 
do have the lovely little drought chilling here. I kind of do want to pop a trick room. Get this off, and uh, I really do want a sword dance. I really do want a sword dance. You know what? I'm going to go for a sword dance. Go for the sword dance trick room here, because I think he's going to Dynamax Lando here. He does not. He's just going to go straight for a wicked blow. Good. Eat this up. Eat this up, slow bro. I thought slow bro could eat one up. <laughs> I thought slow bro could eat one up. Okay. Okay, I understand. That's fine. It's cool. It's all right. It's fine by me. He's going to U-turn out. So he U-turns out, it's not going to do too much damage to us. And we're going to be able to pop a sword dance. But Dynamax him from here? We could definitely Dynamax him. But I think at this point, we bring out... Uh, I think at this point, we bring out... Uh, could bring out uh, our U-belt over here. I might have to Dynamax my, uh, my ground on here and drop a rock into that thing. Right into his face. Right into his face, dude. Drop a big old rock. Drop a big old rock. But yeah, we could actually bring out Regilecki, which could be solid. She could be solid. Or do I bring out you? Just Oblivion wing into that, uh... That, uh, what's it called? That Urshfu. Not bad. It is not a bad choice. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pose a threat onto that, uh, Urshfu slot with an Oblivion wing. And I'm going to Dynamax his grab on. It's my play. Calling it my play. Calling my play. Or I could Dynamax- Oh, or I could Dynamax your belt here. I could definitely Dynamax your belt I think that's even an uh, even better play. I'm gonna Dynamax Shivelta. I'm gonna start taking some speed. And do I try to get off a of Rock Tomb or do I just protect this turn? See how this plays out. So I could definitely protect. Could definitely protect. Protect isn't too shabby here. Or I could just drop a nice little Rock Tomb. Because we do pose a decent threat. So you know, I am gonna drop a Rock Tomb. Just in case he wants to swap into Lando again. We could do that. And uh, yeah, I have to Dynamax Shivelta here and kind of get more with that. But Slowbro got absolutely. Beast up. <laughs> he got beast up. I was hoping he could just, you know, soak up a shot. Kind of get rolling from there, pop a trick room. But it'd be like that sometimes. Hey, which all's Urshifu? I think he goes back into Lando, right? Yeah. So he goes back into Lando on that slot. Okay. I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that. Because Intimate's not going to really do much to my Yvelta. It's going to bring my uh, Groudon back to even. Because we did Sword Dance last turn. And the Yveltas, I think, are both going to get the Ida Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. We shall see. If not, we're still going to be able to drop a nice lovely Rock Tomb onto this uh, Yvelta. And I'm hoping he does Dynamax. Because at that point, we take a nice little Speed Control here. Well, I was expecting him to swap maybe the Yvelta over the Urshifu. That's a smart call. He swaps the Urshifu. And he kind of gets rolling from there. He kind of gets rolling from there. Let's see. Nope. The, yep. The Yveltas do both get Dynamax. Like I just mentioned. So, we're sitting in this spot. I think we bo uh, both are going to go for an Airstream. Definitely options. And I think we both want speed, but I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm hoping he goes for like a dark or something, and we can kind of take speed control and get rolling into this battle. We shall see. We shall see. We're gonna go first, which is great. Shows our, that are you about to outspeeds, and Airstream's gonna chip up some damage. So he's bringing it down to half. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So there's a little bit of speed boost for us. His Yvelta might be orb. Are you about this kind of more of like a support build? Rock Team's gonna fly. Be a super effective shot. Do some damage. More importantly, slow down this uh, Yvelta. The speed's going to get dropped, which is huge. That's why I love Rock Team. And this thing's gonna, just going to go for an Airstream. So Airstream's up. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. And he might hard swap. He might end up hard swapping the what's called. He might end up hard swapping that, uh, that Lando. So I'm just going to double back down into it. I'm going to do this. And I could Sword Dance. I am going to Sword Dance. I don't, should I Sword Dance? I feel like Swords Dance is a great call. I don't know why. I feel like Swords Dance is a great call here. I just feel like Swords Dance is just a call. If I get Groudon set up, that could be lovely. I'm gonna I'm gonna Swords Dance my Groudon. I'm gonna Swords Dance my Groudon. I'll go for an airstream here. Probably not gonna take out this Lando. Brings it down the red, yeah. And that's why I wanted to drop a rock, but I I, I just feel like now's a good chance to actually Swords Dance this Lando. Well not this Lando, this Groudon. See what he does. He's gonna actually U-turn pivot out. It's fine. He's out of here. We're back even on the field. So even if he intimidates us, we're gonna be plus one. I think he just goes for an airstream. Run. I think he's gonna try to compete with speed. I think that's his play. But if he doesn't, we, we should be able to chill here fine. Because Groudon should be able to outspeed after this. Sword Dance coming out here. I can drop blades. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I can drop a blades. Lovely little blades. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's just gonna go for darkness. Go in the you, no, that's gotta be going to ground. Can you eat that ground on? Come on, man. Yo, the dark of war, man. The dark of war ripping up damage. That did me dirty there. 
That's just to me dirty. If we drop a blades that turn or like at least a rock or something, we could chip up some damage. That's rough. That's real rough. Mm, hate it. But we're gonna bring out our own Regilecki. I'm cool with that. I can uh What's gonna be my player? Probably Eweb, right? Airstream Eweb into Regilecki of his own. That's probably my play. I don't have focus dash on this thing, do I? I'm orbed. I'm orbed. I'm orbed. Make me wanna kinda like double down in this thing. You know, I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna Thunder Rule. Wait, that's gotta be my play. That's gotta be my play. With this Life Orb, the Darker Orb makes. does ridiculous damage. He's gonna end up withdrawing his Regilecki. Okay. So withdraws his Regilecki, he's gonna go into an Ursh field. Urshi Ursh comes out here. Smart little play by him. We're gonna chip up some damage, but more importantly, get the special uh, defense drop. So we're gonna do that. Chip up some damage. I know my boy outspeeds. I know my Yvelta outspeeds. And this battle's actually gonna come a lot closer than, than it looks. So we got this special defense drop, and Regilecki can do some big damage here. Get it, Reggie. Get it, Reggie. Thunderbolt coming in hot. Take him out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. That's a huge turn from us. The Yavelta drops out. We have speed on our Yavelta. I can Oblivion Wing and take out uh Take out Urshfu all day. And then he's gonna have to be forced to throw out somebody else. Okay. I got some speed. I got some speed cooking for him. He does have Lando. Lando is definitely scaring me. He's gonna go out in the Reg Lucky episode. I'm actually I would love that more than Lando. Uh, but what's our play here? I do have a soul best. I do indeed have a soul best. I do indeed have a soul best. I could double down into you. I could definitely double down into you. Sucker punch that thing. I mean, let me see. Let me see my Yvelta stats. This one's actually gonna be really close. We are plus two on speed. We're minus one on attack. Our special attack's a bit higher. Just snarl up. Dude, this is tough. I really want Oblivion Wing here. I'm gonna go for the Oblivion Wing. I'm gonna take out Urshfu. And I think I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. See, I'm just gonna eat. Wait, you have now. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Try to chip up some damage on this Reggie here. Let's see how this one plays out. But this is about to outspeed that thing. He's gonna go for Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch comes in hot. And oh my lord, that damage! That thing's gotta be Choice Band. That's gotta be Choice Band. That thing is ripping up with it in a ridiculous amount of damage. A ridiculous amount of damage. Wow. That's gotta be choice ban, yeah, because he hit us hard with the wicked blow, turn one, took us out. Hard swapped out because he was probably choosing the wicked blow. And then just swapped, yo. That was that's some big old damage with a sucker punch. Ripped up into me. He's gonna go for a thunderbolt. That's gonna do me a little dirtier. It's gonna be some big damage. Yeah. Picked up the big time KO, even with that assault fest. That's gonna be GG's. But yo, solid second battle. We're sitting at one on one. You guys know the deal. We gotta hop into a third and grab ourselves that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're looking for that winning record. We're going up against an Ice Rider Cadillac Trick Room team with Alolan Malwak, Thunderous, Tapu Lele, Regilecki, and Whimscott. I feel like I have to lead Slowbro. Give him another shot, plus he can definitely counteract Trick Room in this situation. So I'm going to go Slowbro, and I might lead him alongside with the Groudon. The Groudon isn't too shabby here. The Groudon can definitely do some work. He's super effective up against a lot of these Pokemon. But I do dig him. So I'm going to go Groudon, I'm going to go Slowbro, turn one, and then I'm going to bring Yvelta in the back end with Reggie. Yvelta Reggie. Kind of lean towards it. Kind of lean towards it. I do like Yvelta always. And then Regilecki in the back end. It just, it just, it just seems nice. It just seems nice. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Winning record time. Winning record time. We got to get it. We got to get, we got to get cooked with this. But the first battle was solid. Second battle, I definitely made a, a, a good amount of mistakes. I let that Urshfu hang around a, little, a bit too long. Kind of just dumped all my slow bro. I should have probably hard swapped slow bro turn one. Knowing that he was just going to drop a wicked blow or something like that into me. But it's okay. It's okay. He's gonna Wimscott and Regilecki, and I'm totally cool with this turn. I'm totally cool with this turn. So from here, I can actually... I'm gonna pop a Trick Room. I'm definitely gonna pop a Trick Room. I'm gonna pop a Sword Sands. It's gonna be my play all day. I'm gonna pop a Trick Room and a Sword Sands. It's gotta be my play. There's no way he stays in. We have the Wakan Berry as well, so that's really good. There's no way he stays in with that uh, with that Regilecki. So I think it's just a Sword Sands and a Trick Room is gonna work. Right? I mean, if he goes for an electric move into my uh, Slowbro, we do have that Wakan Berry. The Wakan Berry is going to be type nice for us. He's going to end up Tailwind. That's cool. Oh, what's he going to drop here? He's just going to go into a Thunderbolt. Right? Explosion! What is going on? <laughs> what, what is going on? Eat this up, boys. Okay, cool. My boys eat that up. And he just double kills his team. That's GG's. We just won. We just won. We just won because we're popping a Tailwind and a Sword Stance. That's GG's. Oh my god. What a way to finish off the video. I thought he was just gonna go into like a Thunderbolt. 
but it's over with. <laughs> It's like the worst possible situation he could have. He pops a tail when we pop a trick room. He explodes, kills both of his dudes, and we have a sword stance set up. It, he just gave us the game. Free game. Free game. We take it all day. Free game. We love we love ourselves a solid free game. We love ourselves a nice free game. He's gonna bring in Calyrex. Trick room is out, but he's tailwind. He's tailwind. He is tailwind is tailwind at this point both physical attackers i'm just gonna set up an iron defense won't we'll get rolling i'm gonna get rolling iron defense and we're going to a rock team they might protect that that calyrex they might protect the calyrex you know we're just gonna drop a rock team lovely little rock team Let's see what it does does he just cancel battle yeah he just cancels battle that's ggs winning record the slow bro squad prevails and grab ourselves a winning record. We did pretty solid in today's video. Won our first battle. Third battle was kind of just like, what what just happened? He exploded with the red leg, and we ended up taking up that victory. And second battle was definitely close, but I made some few mistakes that ended up making us lose. But I really did like this team all around. Like I said, heavy meta Pokemon with the Growl and the Venusaur Instant War. You built on Regilecki, but throwing in the slow bro makes it seem nice and fun. It really does. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.